Hello friends, here I have another video, unfortunately the same topic calculation groups. This is my third or fourth video in the last two weeks on calculation groups. Uh, there is a lot more to talk about calculation groups but as I experienced and came through some challenges or some of the tweaks I need to uh, make in my solution to properly use our calculation groups. That's what I am sharing with all of you. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how the conditional formatting was not easy when using calculation groups. I will, in this video, go through like when we were using calculation groups and try to apply a conditional formatting on one of the major in a matrix visual, we see something unexpected and with little bit of tweak in our calculation groups, especially in calculation items, we will able to solve the problem. Let's look at Power BI and go through this. Okay, so here we have uh, this one um, matrix visual with three Myers in it, basically they are based on calculation groups. I have shown these two calculation groups in my previous video, the analysis criteria, like uh, we want to see the values by order date or due date or by ship date, it's from the calculation group. And then I also have another calculation group for analyze what, what Myers we want to see, like in this case we have, we can pick and choose what we want to see or a quantity, sales amount or whatever we select in the slicer shows up in the in our matrix visual. To see what these uh, calculation groups are, uh, uh, as I said, there is a, a, a previous video I did, which is calculation groups and the drill through one. Uh, I will put a link in the description. Go and take a look in that. I don't want to go in details around these calculation groups, but want to focus more on conditional formatting. So <clears throat> going back to the point, if what I want to address in this video is, so let's say I want to create a, a conditional formatting on sales amount. If sales amount is greater than, let's say $600,000, I wanted blue, other blue for between 400,000 to 600, different color and anything below that is a, a, a different color. So it's very simple um, uh, conditional formatting. Let's go to conditional formatting, font color. And what we choose does, doesn't matter. We have one major right now order count on the on the matrix visual calculation group is picking up the correct major based on the the items on the calculation group. But let's say if I pick a sales as my major, what field you sh we we will be basing on? So we want it based on the rules. Let's say if greater than um, six hundred thousand, not percent but number. And less than, if we remove this, this will show max. So we don't know what the max value is. We will just leave it max. Let's say if it is beyond that, I want it to be blue color. And a new rule, uh, if it is greater than 400,000 number, not percent, and less than 600,000, then I want it, let's say, a purple. And last rule I want you to do is if it's greater than equal to, I will remove zero, which is the minimum value, whatever that is, and then number, and less than 400,000. And then I want it to be red. Let's uh, put these rules in place. I think this rule is for some reason, I have to give another zero here. Yeah. And let's say okay. Okay, so here is the problem. Uh, if we maximize this, so our sales amount is based on our rules is showing like above six hundred thousand dollars is the blue, and between four hundred to six thousand dollars is the purple, and anything below that is uh, red. Here, three hundred fifty-five thousand. It's working as expected, but the problem is these two my years. Uh, because we're using calculation groups and the calculation items, these two measures are also having this conditional formatting. 
and all of these are showing red. Uh, this Myers value is less than four hundred thousand dollar, and that's what they're coming out right. But the but the thing is, we don't want a conditional formatting applied to these two Myers because the conditional formatting what we applied is only for the sales amount. The rules are only for the sales amount, not for these two. But since we're using calculation groups and the calculation items, we have only one measure in our matrix visual. So how we make conditional format work in this case, um, when we are using calculation groups and showing the measures with the uh, calculation items and just want to apply on a one measure instead of uh, other three measures. So what we need to do here is we need to make tweak in our um, calculation item. So let's see what does that look like. So if I go to tabular editor, <coughs> since because we are going to tabular editor because that's where we can edit calculation groups and calculation items. Um, I have the fix already, uh, which I will show what that is. But before we do that, what we need to do is because we want to apply conditional formatting only on one measure, which is sales amount, what we need to do is first we need to make a duplicate of this measure. So what we're doing here is we are creating another measure called sales conditional format or whatever name we want to give does not matter. And just making a copy of our existing sales measure and copying to that new measure, basically duplicating our sales measure on which we want to apply the conditional formatting we're duplicating that one and putting it in another measure. And then this that's the first step. Now the second step is uh, what we're doing here is we go back to our conditional formatting. This is already I fixed it. So in our each in calculation group, in each calculation item, we are checking if our selected measure is a sales conditional format when I am on number of orders conditional item, then return the blank value. If I am using the order quantity, then return the blank value. So don't return anything. And when I'm in a sales amount, then I don't need to do anything because uh, sales conditional format measure is equal to the sales uh, measure. So only that other two con uh, calculation items where I don't want to apply the conditional formatting, I'm putting this condition. If the selected measure is condition format, just return blank, no, don't return any value. Now, if we put that sales dash conditional format measure in our matrix visual, what we see here is it does not return any value when it is on number of orders, uh, number of orders, because in calculation item we said if the selected measure is a sales conditional format, return blank. Same with the orders quantity, then don't return any value, return blank, because that's what we uh, did in our calculation item, and but only return value when it is in the sales amount because. This sales conditional format measure is a duplicate of the sales amount. So it means we are not getting any value in sales conditional format when we are on number of orders or, or on the order quantity uh, calculation items. In our conditional formatting, going back to the font color, Instead of what field should we base this on conditional formatting instead of sales, what we're going to use is sales dash conditional format. So basically, uh, I think this is a bug. I have to change it to number and remove this to make it max. So basically what we're saying is we are applying the rule. This conditional formatting rules on the on the measure, which is on the value section of the matrix visual based on the sales condition format and we saw sales conditional format only return value when the calculation item is sales so now once we see okay what you will see is we we have the fix so our number of orders is does not have a conditional formatting our order quantity does not have a conditional formatting 
our sales amount has a conditional formatting based on the rules we gave and it is working as expected now if i choose not to show the sales amount i can i can remove it from the grid if want from matrix visual depending on my calculation group is working as expected whatever i want to show and if i show sales amount it has the conditional formatting if i have my other two measures uh, it does not have the conditional formatting as we saw in this video calculation groups are really really powerful um few other videos which i did on calculation groups but at the same time it is very very challenging uh, some of these pitfalls you can uh, run into these issues so in this particular case what we wanted to achieve was we were using a calculation items a calculation group with three calculation items number of orders order quantity and sales amount but we wanted to apply the conditional formatting only on sales amount to achieve that we created a copy of a sales measure i call it a sales conditional formatting then we went back to the calculation items in each calculation item on which we don't want to apply the conditional formatting we checked if the selected measure is a sales dash conditional format then don't return any value which is a blank in case of the sales measure on which we want to apply the conditional formatting we don't have to do anything because it's already a copy of the sales measure and then we the third step we did is in our conditional formatting we use this measure sales dash conditional format which is a duplicate of sales measure we use that to put our rules and then everything worked great i hope this few videos i'm doing on calculation groups these are helpful showcasing the different use cases of calculation groups and also some of these challenges you run into if you're using calculation groups but end of the day there is a way to solve that just need to understand how things are working what we need to do where we need to put the tweak and then it all works out at the end i hope you find this video useful i hope you're finding these calculation group videos uh, helpful as i come across any other issues or any other interesting stuff on calculation groups i will be developing more videos on it until next video have a good day bye for now thank you